video today. It's going to be kind of a get ready with me. I'm going to be doing a tutorial of this makeup look. And then I also actually have an outfit choice to share with you guys. I am plus size, so obviously it's going to be a plus size outfit of the day kind of um, lookbook kind of thing. This is also in collaboration with one of my best beautiful, beautiful friends here on YouTube, Lily from Lily Beauty. I'll link her video link as well as her channel link down below. She's incredibly talented, you guys. I absolutely, absolutely love her tutorials. Her makeup tutorials are just beautiful. So I know you're really going to enjoy the look that she's created for you guys today as well. Um, so we're both doing Easter inspired looks. If you guys want to see how I got this makeup look and kind of see an outfit of the day, then just keep watching. So to start off, I'm just prepping my eyelids with MAC Painterly Paint Bot as a base to prevent our eyeshadows from creasing and to also make the colors stand out a little bit more and make them vibrant. To set that base shadow, I'm going in with Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream. It's just a really nice, beautiful, kind of neutral, all over um, eyeshadow color. Now I'm going in with Shadow Play from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, Contour Palette, and I'm using this kind of as my transition shade. I want my crease to be a little bit more defined since I'm not doing a lot of depth and dimension with this look, so I'm just really building up this color in my crease. Now on to the real star of the show. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Amber Rush. This is a beautiful, rosy, gold, shimmery, kind of metallic looking, beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow. So I'm just applying this all over my lower lid. To add some sparkle and shine, I'm going in with Space Cowboy from Urban Decay. This is one of the moon dust shadows, and I'm just placing that right on top of the Amber Rush. This is just going to give our eyes a really beautiful pop and sparkle. I don't know what this shadow here is actually called. It's from BH Cosmetics, one of their single shadows. And it's not that pigmented, so I wouldn't recommend it, but I thought it would be beautiful as using kind of an out, as an outer V color to deepen up that outer V and give a little bit more dimension. Um, however, it didn't really work out that great. So I'm actually going back in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, and I'm applying Sombre to that same spot where I tried to deepen it up with the BH Cosmetic Shadow, and this actually worked out a lot better. I kind of like how this whole look came together. I'm also taking that same sombre shade and I'm just running it on my lower lash line. On to curling our lashes and applying some mascara. So for foundation today I'm using my L'Oreal Lumi foundation. I think this is a great one for the summertime. It's very dewy and fresh looking and I do have dry skin so I really love this. I'm trying to use it up. I've had it for a really, really long time. So I'm just dotting it all over my face and then I'm going to be blending it out with my um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Just blending and buffing it into the skin for a flawless finish. Now I don't always set my foundation with a powder, but it's going to be a very hot day today, so I really don't want my makeup to melt off, so I'm just setting it with a translucent powder. Now on to contouring. I'm using the Shade and Light Contour Palette and the shade Shadow Play. I think it's just the most beautiful, beautiful contour shade for fair skin tones, so that's why I'm using it. Now I'm just taking a little bit of bronzer on my Kabuki brush and warming up the outer perimeters of my face. For highlight and blush, I'm using Benefit What's Up for my highlighter. I'm just trying to use it up. And for blush, I'm using the most beautiful blush, Glam Naturals Sun Kissed Cream Blush. It's perfection. I actually forgot to conceal my under eyes on camera, so I'm just setting it with my e.l.f. under eye setting powder. Now I'm just lining my lips with Max Absolutely It Lip Pencil. It's a beautiful pink. For lipstick, I'm going to be wearing Chanel Rouge Allure lipstick in the shade Super Nate, I believe, and then topping that with NYX Butter Gloss and Vanilla Cream Pie. So this is my finished Easter inspired makeup tutorial. I think you can never go wrong with a beautiful sparkly rose gold eyeshadow look and a beautiful glossy pink lipstick. 
Now on to my outfit for the day. This is my very first outfit of the day, so go easy on me. The dress is from Target. I got it years and years and years ago, so I'm pretty sure they they don't have it anymore. Um, and then this is just kind of a full body look of my outfit and my bag. My handbag is from Bueno. And my nails are face.com, not sure the shade, and then the dots are sinful colors in snow me white. My statement necklace is actually a Christmas gift from my husband, and then my boots are from H&M. That's it for this Easter inspired look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys. Happy Easter.